My name is Ted Eckersdorf. I'm a fencing instructor in Marin County in Mill Valley, and I have my own club called Marin Pentathlon Club. It's based on the fact that I was on the modern pentathlon team. Modern pentathlon is a sport made up of five events, equestrian show jumping, fencing with an epee, pistol shooting, swimming, and running. There were about 15 people who were paid to join the military and just do modern pentathlon. And the year before, I had won this award for best non-military pentathlete. And here, here I was graduating college, and they said, well, Ted, you can join the military or you can do it as a civilian. So I, I joined the military just to do modern pentathlon. One sport that I didn't pick up quite naturally was pistol shooting. Uh, I found that very difficult to do. I don't really know why. It just about one year I decided, if I'm going to really do fantastic in this sport, I'm going to have to master this pistol shooting. I sort of got my schedule rearranged so that I could practice an hour before lunch, go to lunch, come back to the shooting range, and practice for another hour and a half. And I did that probably for nine months to get my pistol shooting up to where the other sports were. I just remembered I had to do it. The way you qualify for the world championships is you have to come in the top four in the United States. Five, six, seven, twelve, fourteen. You stay home. Top four get to go everywhere. And I remember also, my fr after my my third year there, I was thinking this is great being on the modern pentathlon team, but I think I want more than that. I've been here a while. I've been close. Why shouldn't I be the one to qualify for the world championships? I'm training with this guy. Why is he the one who gets to go and I stay home? And it was some, something that just clicked in me that said, it's my time, or why not me? Why not Ted Eckersdorf? Sometimes I just try and let other people know that for them also. Why not you? Why can't you be good enough? And I just remember that. And then everything sort of got a lot easier, even though it was very difficult to get there. But it got a lot easier because I was like, why can't it be me? Uh, I remember a lot of people who had joined the pentathlon team, they would go, Oh, I gave it a good try. And I remember going up to my room a lot thinking, oh, well, I'm trying. They're trying. I'm trying. Or I tried it for nine months. It didn't work out. I can go home now. But I tried. And I realized for me at that point, and this, this happened gradually, I'm done with trying. I either want to make the team or I didn't make the team, but I gave it everything I have. Trying is not where it's at for me. That also helped in my uh, psychological development to just say, I'm going to do it. If it doesn't work, I'm not a failure, but I just didn't qualify. And I'm going to be okay with that. And that also helped me go all out more. Uh, through this whole process, I learned going 100% and just doing the best I can is the best thing that I can do. Maybe a little bit different than just competing in one sport. Because you're doing in five, if I can just do 100% each day or in each sport, I really didn't care if I ended up 48th or first. After I qualified for my second world team, I remember my fencing instructor said to me, Ted, I think it's time now for you to think of being the number one pentathlete in the world. And that was also another step up. It was like, I'm just happy to go to the world championships. Now you're telling me that I can be the best in the world? That was a whole other mindset altogether where you had to start thinking, hey, why, again, why not me?